Hello everyone. Welcome to Anne's book review. Hello everyone. This is Anne. Today I came with another short story, The Diary of Adam and Eve. Perhaps some of you will wonder, isn't this story about Adam and Eve from the Bible? Yeah, it's from the Bible, but at the same time, it's also a novel written by Mark Twain. Through the first narrative speaker, Adam and Eve convey their inner thoughts in the way of diary writing. It's already so interesting, isn't it? <laughs> so last year, I read this short story in class, and I was kind of impressed. So it came to my mind when I was making this series of book review. This story is really worth sharing, actually, and it's also very humorous and fun to read. When analyzing this story to make a presentation about it in class before, I took no I took some notes from other researchers and was able to encounter so many interesting views about this story, plus the connection of the story and writer Mark Twain. Then let's begin. First of all, what made Mark Twain write this story? I guess most of you know a lot about Mark Twain already, because he's a really famous writer. He was married to Olivia Langdon, who was from a very rich family in the eastern part of America. Unlike Mark Twain, who was just a free traveler and he had a lot lots of jobs because of his poor condition and whatsoever. So anyway, they they were a very happy couple. And Olivia became Mark Twain's love for all life. However, as they got older, she became ill. So Mark Twain wrote this story in order to comfort her from all the hardships she's going through. The diary of Adam and Eve is composed of Adam's diary and Eve's diary, and this is really quite interesting to read because they have completely different thoughts about the same incident. And they have different thoughts about each other too, and this is really funny. So the story starts from the next day Eve was born. Eve here is a very attractive character. She is full of curiosity, and she has strong desire to learn. The special part of her is that she knows many things by instinct. So it just came by a flip, and she just knows what this is and what that is. She is very knowledgeable, very smart compared to Adam, who is、uh, kind of silly in this story. So we can look at some phrases that can describe about Eve. The minute I set eyes on an animal, I knew what it was. I had never seen a tiger before, but I knew them in a minute by the stripes. Yeah. Such phrases tell us that she's certainly special and talented enough to be the first human. At the same time, she is also very emotional and sensitive, and has some very naive parts in her, because she's she was just born, yeah, yesterday like that. Like this phrase, I already begin to realize that the core and center of my nature is a love of the beautiful, a passion for the beautiful. This shows what kind of person she is at the first glance, and since she is almost like a baby, she is so sweet and pure. So this is it for today's book review, part one of the Diary of Adam and Eve, and I will come back with part two soon, which starts with the characteristics of Eve. Thank you for listening, and I will see you soon.